So I'll start off with COP28. I think this is one of the big milestones. Um, we are going to take stock of progress. We already know what the report card says. Um, we're not doing well. Um, and what we do hope that we'll be getting out of the COP is a strong push um, on ambition. But as Avinesh said, ambition without money is empty. Um, and it's not going to be just about the quantity of the money, it's about the quality of the money and what the quality of the interventions that will be supported and the equity in that context because um, there's of course always that risk that someone will get let, left behind. So what I hope will be coming out of here is taking seriously some of the elements that are within this new playbook and taking seriously the voices that we have heard here um, around where things are not entirely coming together and translating this into a conversation on a just transition that will not only build from bottom up from the country to the global level so that when we're leaving Dubai, we're leaving with something that is different from what we've had all, all along. We'll be looking to see whether um, this momentum that's been generated will be translated into some real um, resources being put on the table, whether this will help countries then move into a phase where they're putting forward strategies that are transformational, that could actually be utilized to drive the funds. And we'd also be looking forward to seeing a lot more inclusive engagement of stakeholders from across the board. And here when I say across the board, I mean even those that sometimes are not even let into the room because we want to hold everybody who can do something accountable to actually do something. So we, and if I can just give an example of something that we're trying to do is, we want to see short-term action, um, or should I say action in the short term that will drive down emissions. We want to see action on methane, which we know that if we can actually start cutting methane today, and who's the number one to, you know, on the line to cut methane? Oil and gas. If they can actually do that, if we can move to productive use of energy, if we can move to alternative energies, we will start actually doing something real. So we need to get behind the theoreticals and get more into the practicals. And that's what we're looking for out of COP28.